What's up guys and welcome to my first tech review discussion, both. So let's just get right into it. Last week, Google announced that it was introducing its AI research center to Accra, Ghana. You may not understand why I'm excited or why this is a big deal, but basically Google is bringing the future to Accra. You're gonna wonder why I am saying Google is bringing the future to Accra. I will get to that later. Now let's get some perspective. So Google has been making moves in Africa for a few years now because Africa is pretty much going to be a stronghold in the near future with statistics showing that it would hold about 25% of the world's population by 2050. So it, it just makes sense to put Africa in your plans. I mean, we are gonna be a lot of the working force very soon, so it makes sense. Google CEO and the head of Google AI, Sunday Pichai and Jeff Dean, respectively, announced this on Twitter last week. Yeah, this is a very big move. It's a very, very big deal. I'll put the tweet in the description so you can check it out and they also explain why they chose Accra Ghana but I wouldn't talk about that just yet. I am going to talk about why this is a big deal and why we as Ghanaians should be excited by this. AI stands for artificial intelligence. It's basically a computer program or a set of algorithms that is sentient of sorts in the sense that you can give it tasks to do and despite the transformations in said tasks it will be able to adapt and handle it. So basically, Jarvis from Iron Man. Jarvis, you there? At your service, sir. Ultimately, that is what an AI is. Right now, we don't really, we haven't quite gotten there yet, but we have baby artificial intelligence programs on our phone. The Google Assistant is pretty much a fetus stage of an AI and it's able to do quite a lot, especially since it was announced only two years ago. Anyway, I digress. So, AI is the future. Google is pitching AI as the future. If you do not believe me, I think we should take a step back to last month. Let's take a step back to the past, to the I.O. Keynote 2018 that Google presented. Welcome to Google I.O. Thank you for joining us. We are excited about how we can approach our mission with renewed vigor thanks to the progress we see in AI. Healthcare is one of the most important fields AI is going to transform. Another example of a, one of our core products which we are redesigning with AI is Gmail. So we are bringing a new feature called Suggested Actions. By the way, AI can also deliver unexpected moments. Or if you happen to have a very special memory, something in black and white, maybe of your mother and grandmother, we can recreate that moment in color and, and make that moment even more real. So we've worked hard with WaveNet, and we are adding, as of today, six new voices to the Google Assistant. Let, let's say you want to ask Google to make you a haircut appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. What happens is the Google Assistant makes the call seamlessly in the background for you. So how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Android P. AI underpins the first of three themes in this release. We've created a score called Your Match to help you find more places that you'll love. Your Match uses machine learning to combine what Google knows about hundreds of millions of places with the information that I've added. At Waymo, AI touches every part of our system. It's a great reminder of how AI can play a role in helping people in new ways all the time. With all of that, you see how big a deal AI is. Google is pushing AI in pretty much everything they do. Android P is pretty much run by AI. Every single thing that Google is going to pitch to you in the near future is gonna have traces of AI in it. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I will talk about that later. But AI is a big deal for Google because Google kinda is the biggest hub for data and AI is basically a birth child of machine learning, neural networks, deep learning, a lot of other science jargons you probably don't know or don't care about yet. The point is, Google has all it needs to bring AI to life. They are the most likely to bring us a fully working AI. They have data. Data is very, very important to bring AI to life. Now, how does this affect us in Ghana? Well, um, for now, we will not see a massive effect of the AI research. Now, Google has come to research AI in terms of health, 
agriculture and some other sectors. Health is The health sector is a big deal in Ghana and agriculture is a much bigger deal in Ghana because it's like the backbone of our economy. So AI, so AI being a part of our agriculture is going to be very interesting because as far as we know, computers kind of are much more efficient than humans, kind of, in the sense that when you input data, it gives you an exact output. Humans would be like, uh, maybe throwing around estimates and stuff like that. An AI program is less likely to do that. It's going to be more to the last dig it. So in line with that, we will have a lot of improvements in our health sector and in agriculture and the other fields that they are going to dabble in. Definitely it's not going to happen in the blink of an eye. They are going to open this research center sometime ending of this year, sometime September to December within that period. And during that period, yeah, it will be very exciting. They have stated how many people they are going to hire and the specifications or job qualifications you need to have to get the job. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. Now, the main reason why I'm excited about this is because I have wanted Google to come to Ghana for many reasons, especially my excitement was amplified because Android P, as I was talking about, is really, really, really based on AI. Its stronghold is AI. But with all the cool fancy things, and if you knew this, Google switched to a cloud-based system a couple of years back, and it was a good move because now Google servers are the one pushing the, and grinding the hard things, the hard CPU things. It's the Google servers that are taking. For instance, the Google Photos app now has a new feature where it can change an old black and white photo into color. Now, this may not seem like a big deal, but it's a very big deal. I'm not talking about a picture you took or a selfie you took in monochrome and you finally just changed it into color. I'm talking about real old black and white footage. Like, let's just say footage of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah shaking people's hands and stuff like that. You could change it color. It's a very, very long and difficult process if you don't know how to do that. I tried it one time, I never finished. It was a lot of work. And with all this AI thing going on with Android P, I realized that most of these services are going to be more internet data intensive. Now, West Africa has some of the most outrageous prices for internet data packages. We, we, we are dying out here. And quality isn't really amazing either. But we pay a lot of money. I mean, in Ghana, it's about $10 for about four to five gigabytes of data. So Google coming to Ghana means that they will definitely experience these things. And it may actually give Google an incentive to actually become an ISP, an internet service provider, because so many people have been asking Google to become that. And if they come here and they see the state of things, they may either become an ISP, I'm hoping, or they may find a way to make majority of their software less data intensive and less dependent on high or high performing or fast performing internet. They could very well bring very good internet to Ghana. I don't know, but I am excited that Google is coming to Ghana. Artificial intelligence is a big deal. It is the way forward. It is the future. Whether you like it or not, it is the future. So what do you think about Google coming to Accra, Ghana? What are your comments? Put it in the comment section. Let me know. What are your misgivings? Do you think, do you think Skynet is gonna take over Accra, Ghana? Do you think Ultron is gonna be born in Accra, Ghana? What is this? What is this, please? Hello, I am Jarvis. You are Ultron. A global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. I'm sorry, I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. How is humanity saved if it's not allowed to evolve? I had strings, but now I'm free. Just let me know what you guys think in the comment sections. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will be giving you more discussions on tech. So, catch you in the next one.